Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. That link is below. I would definitely love it if you came and visited. So today I am back with another planner video in my 2016 planner series. And, you know, they're planners, they're journals, they're prayer journals. Um, you know, I have a lot of different videos and I'll try to link those below. But today I am going to be taking you... Um, through some faux dories. Now, this is my Midori. I shared a video about it already. I'll link that up in a card. I'm in love with this. Now, mine's a little bit thick. Um, I have, like, one notebook that is almost completely filled up, so it's kind of bloomed out a little bit. But, you know, I have sunk a fortune into my Midori, and I mean it. I have bought a ton of inserts. I have bought accessories. I have bought, um, you know, inserts off of Etsy. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm not sure if I will ever switch out of it. That's how serious I am um, about this notebook, Traveler's Notebook. I love that you can switch the inserts around to fit your life. I love that you don't have to buy a new one every year unless you find a new one that's maybe a faux dory. dory. I do want the black and the blue in the Midori, but I usually always have overhang. Um, but there are a ton of faux dories. And for you guys who don't know, a faux dory is a fake Midori. Now, it's not necessarily fake in terms of leather and all of that. It's just not the Midori brand. And there's tons and tons of faux dories. And I'm definitely going to be sharing a ton of those with you in the coming weeks, months, year, years. Um, but today I want to talk about Zilk. And I think I'm saying that right. I might not be. Um, these are faux dories, and they are a lot more reasonably priced. They come with a lot more, and I thought I would pan the camera down and take you through each of these. So I have one in the standard size, and then I have one in the passport size, which I use um, a Midori passport traveler's notebook for my wallet, my everyday wallet. And then I use the larger Midori for my everyday planning. Monthly planning, note-taking, YouTube schedule. There's a lot in this book. I couldn't be without it. But, um, so many of you have let me know that it's very expensive. Um, your budgets don't allow for, you know, um, that kind of purchase. Which I understand because it doesn't seem like a lot when you start out. It really doesn't. Um, you know, you can find it. You can find this one, I think, for around $40.00. I think it comes with one insert, if I remember right. I have an unboxing as well. Um, and I'll link that up here. Um, but it does end up costing a pretty penny um, for a lot of the different, like, pencils and pens and inserts. I mean, you really can spend a fortune on these, and I have, so I know. So, while I was kind of looking around at different faux dory dories, I found Zilk, and I don't know if it's Z-L-Y-C, or just the letters, if it's just the letters or if it's Zilk, but I'm going to say Zilk, and you guys know I mispronounce just about everything, but I'm going to kind of pan the camera down, take you through it, and then I'll be back in front of the camera and tell you all about the giveaway, so just keep watching. Okay, so here is my standard Midori Traveler's Notebook. I've used it for over a year. You can see it's got some wear on it. Um, it's definitely been used and it's held up really well. Here is the passport size. I've used this as my wallet ever since the first unboxing video. So I love this. I don't plan on switching it out anytime soon. But let's move these little guys to the side for a minute and look at the Zilk. Now these are basically the same thing. They are traveler's notebooks. They're for a fraction of the price. So you can get both in a set. I believe with a pen um, holder for around $40 on Amazon. Or you can buy them separate and the larger size, the standard size, is around $30. And their passport size is about 
15 and that's always changing on Amazon but I will put links on the blog post in case you just want to go ahead and buy you um, one of these now I was really interested in these because I did have a lot of people telling me that the Midori is expensive and when you think about it the Midori is just basically one piece of leather um, it comes usually with one insert and some um, elastic bands. So everything that you put inside the Midori, all the different inserts you can get, you can find, you know, standard Midori ones, which they have one for basically everything, or different inserts you find off Etsy or different shops online, or even if you make your own, it can still you know add up now I have a lot of the Midori accessories the pencil the pen the writing board lots of different Midori stuff stamps and it can be rather expensive so I was looking around I also like a lot of the different embossed leathers and I happened to stumble across Zilch they did not contact me this is not sponsored the prayer journal giveaway that just ended is also not sponsored um, these are just things I love so let's look at this larger um, travelers notebook so it comes packaged just like this and what you have here is a bag just like the Midori now. I believe the Midori's um, little bag was just plain white. I don't believe there was any writing on it. And these are nice. They are nice protectors. Um, obviously, if you have more than one, it's nice to, you know, put one up if you're not using it. And you can store it in something like this. And this is just like burlap. Um, and this is a great way to make sure it doesn't get damaged if you're not using it. But if you are using it, trying to fit it into one of those little bags will be next to impossible. And I'm scared that there is a cat behind me making the tripod, like, shake. Hopefully they'll stop. Okay, so let's have a look at these. So first off, they have an extra band in it. Obviously, it's orange, and you can use that um, if you wish. It comes with everything already made and an information card. So I'm going to move this box out of our way so we can really see um, how, how this measures up. So over here, this um, measures around nine and a half inches this one measures nine and a half inches um, you can see when you put these both together they are basically the same size let me just kind of hold them up for you so there you go leather to leather and you can kind of see now this one is in which one dark brown and I believe this is also I think it's just brown if I remember right Midori has a brown one a black one and a blue one and there are tons of faux door dories it just means it's not a Midori it doesn't mean that it's not as pretty as functional as um, you know standard it's just it's just another I don't know um, knockoff of the Midori but it's easy this is just a piece of leather you guys and you know it has the banding and everything and I've already sh taken you through this but you know you can kind of see it's just a piece of leather that's all this is and this is the same way now when you get a Midori Traveler's Notebook in the mail um, or you buy it at a store um, you get one insert generally and what I have found that insert to be just blank paper now in this um, Zilk um, faux dory you get three inserts and that is a big bonus it already comes like filled up for you so the first insert here is just um, some line paper and it's more like the dots see and then the middle book right here another brown book very very Midori like um, you have the monthly calendar now this one has the dates already in it and you just start the month wherever it begins so that's really nice and the one I have right now I have to fill in the dates um, in 
in my Midori insert. So that's definitely nice. And then the very back book in the in the back is just plain white paper. Now that's something with the Midori that you guys should know. If you like to water color paint or if you like to do a lot of drawings Midori does have a lot of different um, notebooks with different thickness of paper so that matters and again you could totally use Midori inserts in um, a Zilk planner um, or a Zilk notebook it's very 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 simple to to do now comparing these this has a little um, a little metal clip right at the top and this one is more I don't know long see the difference also in the binding of the book is where they put um, their band at and in the Midori it's on the back I'm not sure which way I would like better um, because I like them both really and then you can see the bottom is virtually the same now this one is beautiful it is embossed and it's got all these very pretty flowers on it. I think it's perfect for, you know, any woman. I love it. And it's, again, at the fraction of a cost. And you can get both the passport and this size for around $40. Whereas this is basically $40. But don't forget, with Amazon Prime, you get free shipping if you, um, if you really like that. Now, mine did not come with a clear pouch. I have seen others that have. I don't really know what makes the, you know, what makes them pick what books or what inserts come with um, the Zilk um, notebooks, but it's beautiful and the leather is super, super, super soft. The size is, like I said, identical. Um, I do have overhang in my Midori. I mean, I just do. It's thick. I One of my books is almost completely full, and that always makes your Midori balloon out. But I still think I would have the same overhang in, in this book because I just simply put a lot in them. But I thought for myself I would use this for more everyday journaling. Um, but for somebody who is really thinking or on the fence about getting a Midori Traveler's Notebook, you could really get this and save yourself a lot of money. And again, I think it's beautiful. That embossed, um, like flower design is what made me pick this to share with you guys. Again, it's not sponsored. It's just something I found, I love, and I wanted to share in this planner series. Now, on the inside here of my Midori Traveler's Notebook, the um, elastic bands are brown and there's some little paper pieces here. Get those off. And in this one, they are black. Let me see if I can find one here. And they're thicker. The bands are thicker. Now, I'm sure that's nice for the cover, but I don't necessarily like that in between my pages. I prefer like the rubber bands from Midori itself instead of a super thick band in the middle of each book. But they are really nice books and um, the quality of the paper seems to be really nice. Now the smell. I know that some people complained that the Midori Traveler's Notebooks had a powdery type substance on the outside and smelled. I did experience a little bit of the powdery substance but that went away rather quick. But I never really had a chemically smell. All I smell is leather. It smells like it came from a leather shop. and. This one is very, very similar. It smells like leather. I don't smell any chemicals whatsoever. And um, I think that the leather on this uh, faux dor dor dory excuse me, is much softer than the one in the actual Midori. But I think with you know, years of use on something like this, it will get softer, but this one is already softer. So I don't know if that matters to you, but it's super soft. It's super flexible. You could definitely book this up. Let's see, here's another, like an old book of mine. You could definitely like book this thing up and I think it would just like bend over the inserts really nicely. I don't think you're going to have any like real issues with this book. Um, again, the band is much thicker 
I have my pen hanging on this one. It's much thicker than the band on my Midori. Now, um, that's okay. Um, I don't really mind it. I think it will hold everything in super nice, but it's definitely thicker. And you can just kind of see that on your own. You can see there's a little color, um, you know, change here. But it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. And I think it would make a great gift for any woman in your family. Men as well. I mean, they have these in plain. They have them in um, this dark color. They have them in a coffee color, which I'm about to show you in just a minute. And so I really think they are a great alternative to the standard Midori Traveler's Notebooks. I think they really are. I do plan on getting a lot of different faux dories over the next few years, testing them all out. Right now, this is still my main love. But again, I thought that I could really use something like this for journaling and to keep at home. Now, it does come with an insert, and it talks about the oil-immersed leather. It's called the Crazy Horse um, Leather Technique. Oil immersed leather is made from polished first layer cath leather, which will be filled with a kind of environmental friendly chemical wax, and it will finally be produced after the high temperature pressing process. Um, it says after being polished, the leather will be natural and comfortable by hand, by hand feeling. If finished, oil immersed leather product is being slightly squeezed, pressed, or folded. It will change its color very naturally and look very pretty. Besides, there is disorderly scratching, a branding, and folding traces, and leather specks on its surface, which will endow it with a historical sense and give it a rough, uninhibited personality. As a scratch on its surface appears very natural, it will gradually disappear without compromising the leather's quality. The longer the product of Crazy Horse Leather is used, the newer and prettier it becomes. There's also a cleaning method that they explain on here and about the color differences. And um, sometimes there is a color difference than what you see on camera versus what you get in the mail, but it's nothing like that serious. Again, it comes with more elastic bands and the little pouch that you can store it in. Now let's look at the differences in the Zilk like passport size. Now this one came in another little bag and I really do believe the Midori bags are just white with no writing on the outside. Um, now this one is in the color coffee and I got I did separate and set it together so I could get two different colors generally if you buy the set you're gonna get you know two same colors but for the purposes of this video and giveaway I thought I would um, share with you this color and it is coffee it's got the beautiful embossing as well it's made the same it's got the little hook at the top it's got um, the elastic band at the bottom and in um, this part it has the band and the binding so compare it to the Midori it seems to be exactly the same size exactly again this came with three inserts this one came with one so you have grid paper in one insert then you have a monthly calendar which I think they include in every um, Zilk notebook and then there's another grid now I don't like like the band having the knot right here so I would actually have to move it but it's pretty simple to do um, I, I just don't like that personally but again it's very soft pliable leather and I have used mine as my wallet since um, I first got it and I love it and you can really see the differences um, the bands again are very different, but the book overall is very similar and I absolutely love the embossing. Now personally the color I would go for um, would be the dark brown or the black instead of the coffee. I prefer something a little bit darker, but this is beautiful and you can kind of see the difference in all the colors. So you have like the standard brown in the Midori, the coffee in the Fodori Zilk notebook and then you have the dark brown 
I would definitely stick to something like this personally, but I, I love this color, and I do have a lot of bags this would go with, um, so I definitely could make this um, another wallet if I chose to. I would have to get some of my card inserts and stuff to make it a wallet, but um, yeah, I really love these, and they're so very soft, and they are so very similar, and they're a fraction of the price you get more notebook wise and insert wise than you ever would with a Midori but that's okay um, you know I, with one of the things that I love the best about the Midori Traveler's Notebook is that you can pick like um, these are all tangled up Hold on, my bookmarks not where it should be you can pick um, which inserts work best for your life so of course I have a monthly calendar um, right here I couldn't live without that and then I have a weekly calendar and then um, I have a like bullet list type of book and then I have my blog and YouTube stuff so um, you know mine is very full but I really like being able to change it out with the inserts that I like. Now, the inserts that come in these books, you're just going to have to live with and see what comes in yours if you, you know, happen to order one. Um, and again, you can switch them out. You can add plastic pockets like I have here and, you know, zip pouches and whatever you're looking for. You can totally customize this one just like you could this Midori or any other Fodori. So I think these are beautiful. I think the colors are beautiful. The design is beautiful. And I think it's a great option for somebody who's not really wanting to spend as much on one of these as you would for you know your standard Midori Traveler's Notebook. So I'm going to jump back in front of the camera and explain the giveaway. So for me I can really see what the appeal is with these Silk um, Traveler's Notebooks. I really can. I think they are really nice notebooks. I think that they come with you know three inserts which is super nice and it is going to save you because those inserts can run anywhere from I don't know, twelve to twenty-five dollars a piece, depending on which ones you want. Or you know, you can go online and find a lot of different inserts on Etsy as well. But since I love these, I want to share them with you. I'm going to have a giveaway. There's going to be two winners, and you will have to go to my blog to get entered. And the link will be below. I'll have more pictures and information about each of these. This one in dark brown, and this little passport size in coffee. And um, there's going to be two winners. One is going to win the standard size and one is going to win the passport size and I will have all the details on my blog if you're interested in getting entered it's super easy you do not have to have like a Facebook account but you do have to share your email and it's going to go on for two weeks which is pretty standard for all of my giveaways I like you know people to have enough time to be able to find the video find the blog post and get entered and I feel like two weeks is a good time point on that um, but these are just gorgeous you guys they hold up well they um, they this one on me this traveler's notebook by Midori has just been like a lifesaver and I feel like this one could be very much the same way for anyone who takes time to really make it you to make it work for your life and you know it's nice to get one of these and or one of these and sit it on your desk and never look at it again and never really make it work for you and it makes me so sad to be, see people who use planners and calendars like that because if you make them work for you you're going to get so much more done it's going to be unbelievable and it's really going to make life easier which is you know really the reason for having planners and notebooks and travelers notebooks it's really to record your life to make your life easier to organize your family yourself and it's just made such a world a difference for me personally which is why i'm always promoting different planners different calendars um and even the stickers because I think stickers make planning fun. I think it makes your planner more personable. But is it necessary? Absolutely not. Just pen and paper really 
um, is all you need. And for me, I have found so much help in, you know, this the simple, the simplicity of um, this kind of notebook. And this one is no different. I really love this one. Um, I might switch it out because these two are mine. I am keeping these. I might switch it out and just try it for a few weeks and see. I just had to put all my inserts in here. But they're just gorgeous, and I think you guys would love them as much as I do. And again, just go to my blog to find ways to get entered. You can like my Facebook page. You can leave comments, whatever you wish to get entered. And um, we will be back with another journal type of video next week and I'll have another giveaway so I'll have two running at the same time for about a week um, but I'm really excited about this company I think their their travelers notebooks are spot on I think they're really you know giving you a good bang for your money with the three different inserts and I love that they, they take time to package them up in a nice way that keeps the leather from being damaged in shipment because you know that leather is very soft it can be scratched and um, I think they think about that that's why they give us these little little cases for them and I don't know I just fell in love with this company when I seen like the embossed notebooks are just gorgeous and um, again this one is my wallet and I just am so amazed with the Midori Traveler's Notebooks. I I love them. I kind of got to the game a little bit late on these. A lot of people were already, you know, talking about them and, you know, using them before I ever even knew one thing about them. But once I figured out what the hype was all about, I've never changed. And that is my, like, little elephant bookmarker. It was an earring that was too heavy. So I just made it a, a page page marker but that is it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to get subscribed on all of my social media that way you won't miss anything or miss any new pictures and you can definitely get to know us better thanks again for watching you guys bye